How to perform a buffer overflow. For educational purpose only. First open a new empty project and a main.cpp. Disable security checks and set basic runtime checks to blank. Low. Include iStream, Windows, and Vector. We will make the buffer overflow and overwrite the return address. Doing so, we will deviate the behavior of the program into a function that is not supposed to be called. We need the base address, and we will need to get the offset to the function we are targeting. That's our target function. We don't know yet the offset that's what we will SE later with the debugger so set it to zero for now. Set the overflow to something that you can identify in the stack, I chose AOB for now. We'll change it later. Now I will do a simple for loop to push the address into the string. Very basic. And finally we call our overflow function where we will perform the overflow. That char of 4 is going to be overwritten by the bigger overflow string. Add in some breakpoints. And the string copy that will write our overflow. There's one last thing we need. That is to disable CRT warnings, else it might not compile. We will make our string 3a so that we can see things properly first. That should appear as 61, 61, 61 in the stack. Let's now debug and find out what we have to do. Right there. That's the string. Ignore this part. I'm getting the return address in the main for a future tutorial.
Now let's find the offset of our target function in the memory. We get the offset RUVA. And that will allow us to get the function every time the program restarts. So let's add in 4 bytes, and then the address. You will see 62, 62, 62, 62 appear in the stack now. Followed by the address of our target function. Right there. You see the 62, 62, 62, 62 and then our address of the target function where we wrote on the return. And finally you can see the print message the last Iberian links was here.